Hi everyone, today we'll be reading ABC Science Book. I hope you enjoy and please don't forget to subscribe. A is for astronaut. An astronaut is a person trained to go into space. Astronauts can have such jobs as operating a spacecraft, doing experiments, or making repairs. B is for beaker. A beaker is a glass container. Scientists use beakers to measure, mix, and heat liquids for experiments. C is for crystal. Crystals form when liquids cool and harden. Rubies and salt are types of crystals made from minerals. D is for dinosaur. Dinosaurs are giant reptiles that lived on Earth long ago. They are extinct or gone for good. E is for Earth. Earth is the third planet from the sun in our solar system. We live on planet Earth. F is for fossil. A fossil is an ancient animal or plant that has hardened into rock. A scientist who studies fossils is called a paleontologist. G is for glacier. A glacier is a giant area of thick ice on land. It moves very slowly, carving out the land beneath it. Glaciers help make mountains, lakes, and valleys on Earth. H is for habitat. A habitat is where a plant or animal lives. Living things get shelter, food, and water from their habitats. I is for insect. An insect is a tiny animal with six legs and a body made of three parts. Ants, bees, and butterflies are all types of insects. J is for joint. A joint is a place on your body where two bones meet. Joints bend and move. Knees, elbows, and wrists are joints. K is for kelp. Kelp is a type of giant seaweed found in the ocean. Many animals live in kelp forests. Scientists study kelp forests to see how healthy the ocean is. L is for laboratory. A laboratory is a place where scientists do experiments. In a lab, scientists can control their surroundings. This makes their tests and measurements more exact. M is for microscope. A microscope is a tool that scientists use to see tiny things. Microscopes have lenses that make objects look much larger than they are. N is for nocturnal. Nocturnal animals sleep during the day and are awake during the night. Owls, bats, and wolves are some nocturnal animals. O is for oceanography. Oceanography is the study of the world's five oceans. Oceanographers study the ocean's habitats and currents to learn about the health of our planet. P is for precipitation. Precipitation is water that falls from the sky. There are different kinds of precipitation. Liquid water is called rain. Frozen water is snow, sleet, or hail. Q is for quadriceps. The muscles above your knees are called quadriceps. You use your quadriceps when you walk, run, and jump. R is for root. A plant's roots are underground. They hold the plant in place. The plant also gets water and food from the soil through its roots. S is for scientist. A scientist is someone who has questions about the world. They learn the answers by observing, experimenting, and working with other scientists. T is for telescope. A telescope is a tool used to see objects that are very far away. Astronomers often use telescopes to study stars and planets in space. U is for universe. The universe is everything. Earth, 
Our solar system, stars, galaxies, and planets are all part of the universe. V is for volcano. A volcano is a type of mountain. It's a place where hot liquid rock pours out of the earth. Scientists study volcanoes to learn about Earth's center. W is for water. Water is a substance that all living things need to live. Water can be liquid, what you drink, solid, ice, or gas, steam. X is for x-ray. An x-ray is a picture that shows the inside of something. For example, doctors use x-rays to see the bones inside your body. Y is for yolk. The yolk is the yellow part of an egg. It has all the vitamins a chick needs to grow. It is full of vitamins to help you grow too. Z is for a zoologist. A zoologist is someone who studies what animals eat, where they live, and how they act. Mm -hmm.